Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a new subscriber or new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amanda Ensing. I am so happy that you are here and that you've decided to be a part of my channel. I wanted to take today and kind of briefly give everyone an update. I've been very active on other platforms, but not so much on YouTube. So I wanted to come on here and give everyone a quick little update of things that have been happening in my life, things with Sephora, and just a small little chit chat video. My next video will be a beauty video. I have filmed a pamper spa routine that is just so good it's so relaxing so that will be coming next but today I just kind of wanted to sit down and chat with you guys first things first is Sephora disaffiliated and tried to cancel me along with any other conservative which has been a ride of its own I have retained legal counsel so I'm going to pursue every legal claim that I have in this situation what they are doing is not right it's very disturbing if you haven't seen everything that has been going on or if you don't know what I'm talking about Everything is on my Instagram. I have several IGTV videos sharing my story. In a nutshell, Sephora asked me to do a sponsored video for them through Reward Style. They love the sponsored video. That's why it seems like it's been forever since I've uploaded because that video is now taken down from my YouTube channel. But that video was on my skincare favorites at Sephora. It was sponsored by Sephora. Sephora loved the video. They approved it. It went up. And a few hours later, they started to get some comments on their Instagram. One in particular said that they didn't like Sephora, but because I'm part of a dangerous MAGA group, they're out and Sephora responded. They responded to this comment thanking that person, saying that they disaffiliated and that I don't fit in with their values of inclusivity to a comment directly about my conservative views because I voted for Trump. We are going down a very slippery slope in our country right now. A place where you alienate half of the country or over half of the country because you don't agree with their political views. I mean, when will cancel culture stop when there's nothing left to cancel? The only way you'll ever be able to escape cancel culture is if you don't speak. Besides that, there's always gonna be something that you're gonna say or do that's gonna offend somebody. When you silence your opposition, that is not freedom. And it's not freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is freedom to use your voice, despite if someone else doesn't like it. But you look at this cancel culture, what we have right now, and if your, your voice offends someone, it needs to be taken down. I mean, being easily offended does not make you a good person. I feel like a lot of people just want to be offended by stuff all the time. You look online and everyone's offended by everything. I wish people would realize that it's not about red or blue. It's not about who you voted for. It is the 99, 99%, which is the people, against the 1%, which is the government. Politicians, the government, they know that if we're divided, that they can have power over us. And I have seen literally the most divided country in my entire life. If you can't wake up and see what's happening at this point, the amount of corruption in our government, the amount of things that are being politically pushed and used for politicians' advantages to line their pockets and to give them power, meanwhile the people are suffering, it's time to change your circle of influence. We have seen things in the last year in our country that I never thought I would see in my entire life. You see this division, you see the alienation, you see people just feeling afraid. There are now certain things you can't talk about or you get deplatformed, or your videos get removed. What happened to our freedom of speech? That should terrify everyone, even if you don't agree. Everyone on social media everywhere is fighting. I've never seen anger in the last year like I ever have before on social media, and I've been doing this a long time. That kind of bitterness and hatred, like it will just eat you up. It does more damage to your soul than the people you're speaking those terrible words to and, and saying those things to. You know, I've noticed on my platform, it's the people that hate me that are on my pages every day, they're on my stories every day. It's the people that wanna call me all these names, but they're checking up on me every day. Like, if you check up on something you hate all the time, you don't hate it, you're a fan, that's just how it is. I take my platforms very seriously, I take my reach very seriously, and I've seen too many people just stand by and be silent because they're afraid. I want to encourage you to always use your voice and to always speak your truth, no matter who tries to put you down. You know, what they say is their problem, not yours. All you can do is keep speaking your truth because that's your God-given natural born right is your voice, and no one has the power to take that away from you. I said a few months ago on my channel that I felt like I was meant to do something bigger than makeup because I've been doing beauty here for a very long time and beauty and makeup was my first passion. But there are so many things I feel called to use my voice for. 
my faith, what's going on in America, with politics. There's a lot of things that I want to speak about and that I want to bring light to. So I will still be doing beauty on my channel, but my channel is going to take, I think, a massively different direction. Don't get me wrong, makeup is an escape. Makeup has pulled me out of a lot of dark places when I needed, you know, something to do to get my mind off of things. But at this point in my life, I find myself wanting to use my voice for other things. The God that I believe in will always provide for me. And I don't believe that God brought me this far just to bring me this far. I think this is a completely new chapter in my life. And I will follow God anywhere. Even if that means giving up everything and anything, I will do that in a heartbeat if God wants me to do that. So I am planning a bunch of really exciting things and I can't wait. If you are a believer, please pray for me. I'll take all the prayers I can get. I'm also planning to launch my cosmetic line this year. I've been working on it for a little over two years. I know I've mentioned it here and there. I didn't want to talk much about it until I was just about to launch, but I have been working on this for a little over two years. And, you know, I knew everything would happen in God's perfect timing, so I've been at peace about how long it's been taking, but um, I'm also self-funded. I didn't want to take investors because I didn't want anyone to tell me what to do with my company. Makeup does take a long time to make, especially if you're making your own formulas and your own fragrances and doing your own colors. You know, you're not doing something that's just private label already made, and I've done everything from scratch. It's made in the USA, clean, cruelty-free, vegan. I'm really, really excited to launch that. My life is going in a very different direction and I'm letting God guide me all the way. And I'm not afraid of offending anyone with what I talk about because I know that anything I say will offend somebody and that's for anyone. You shouldn't be afraid to use your voice and to stand firm in your beliefs and in your faith. I will risk anything and everything for Jesus and I'm not ashamed of that. People can mock me all they want, but I love God with everything and everything I do is for him. And I'm not perfect, I'm far from perfect, I mess up all the time. But that's the beauty of being a Christian, you know, you know that you're not perfect, but the battles are even won. Jesus died for us. So I'm excited to bring you guys on this journey. If you were new, if you found me through everything that's been going on, thank you for subscribing, thank you for supporting. I've been overwhelmed by the support. It's been definitely difficult to get to everything. I'm still trying to get around to comments and messages, so please bear with me, but I am so thankful. Like, I hope you understand, I'm very, very thankful. You know, I felt for a long time that I was standing alone, especially, you know, with everything that happened with Sephora, I didn't see any bigger influencers saying anything, which makes sense. They care more about their sponsorships and standing up for what's right, I'm not surprised. But to see the people, like we the people coming to support me, and even people that aren't conservative, even people that are liberal, it really does mean a lot because we need more of that. We need to be able to come to the table with our differing beliefs, our different views, and be able to have conversations, be able to see where we can improve. I think both sides are always so concerned about being right that it seems like we have no middle ground. And the media has definitely worked very hard to further that divide. But we need to get to a place where we can literally all realize that we all have a seat at the table and to talk and realize that we are humans and we are people before we are conservative or liberal. As always, thank you for watching this video. I just wanted to give everyone a quick little update of what's going on, working hard behind the scenes, working on a lot of different projects. I am going to try to do a few little vlogs, vlogging some of the things that we're doing right now, but just bear with me, pray for me please. I'm praying for all of you guys as well. You can always find me on Instagram, Twitter, all my other platforms, so you can come there if you want to stay you know, in the loop. I feel like I'm posting more on Instagram than anything else right now. So yeah, hope you guys are having a great day. I'm thinking and praying for you, and I will catch you guys in my next video. If you want to support my work, please head over to makemakeupgreatagain.com and check out my shop. This is a movement of making the beauty industry inclusive again.